Hello everyone, welcome to Key2 Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can create an analytics account and connect it to your WordPress website. So as you can see, so this is a WordPress website and I want to connect the Google Analytics account to this website. So for this I will log into my Google Analytics account. So let me just search for Google Analytics and I will click on the first result. Now it will ask you to create a Google Analytics account so let me just quickly create a account and let me just name it like my Google account analytics account and I will click on next and let me just set a property so I will type my website name here and I will change the time zone so I will choose India as my time zone and I can change the currency here so let me just search for Indian rupees and click on next and let me just select the industry type something like internets or let's scroll down and I will select internet and telecom and let me just select the business size to small and I can select all the option from here and I will select the country and I will accept the domain conditions and click on accept okay now the Google Analytics account is added let me just untick all and I want to select the platform so as the website is a web platform I can select the web here and I have to add my URL so let me just go to this website and copy my URL and I will paste it here so as there is HTTPS so I can delete it from here and I can set a stream name like my website and I will click on create stream okay now our Google Analytics account is added let me just search for this like Google site tag or Google tag manager so I will click on Google site tag and I will copy this code from here and I will go to my WordPress dashboard so here you can add the Google Analytics account in various ways so you can either directly add it to your theme editor so just go to appearance and click on theme file editor and here search for footer.php or theme footer now scroll down and you have to add that code just above the body tag like this and click on update the file or you can use a code manager plugin in your WordPress website. So this is a risky process and if you do anything wrong in this process then it may break your website. So I recommend you to use a code manager plugin. So I will not update this file and I will go to the plugin section and click on add new. And here I will search for header footer code manager. And here I will select this option header footer code manager by 99 robots so just install this plugin and then activate this plugin now let's go to the header footer code manager and I will click on setting here and here I have to add a new code snippet so just click on it and I can set this snippet name like analytics and I can set this snippet type so I can set it to HTML and site display so I can set it to site wide and I can also set the location to footer and let me just paste that code so as it, as it is a JavaScript code let me just change the snippet type to JavaScript and let me just save this okay now I will select the header footer code manager option and as you can see our analytics code is saved on our website 
and let me just visit my website and let me just refresh this page and as you can see uh, it is now showing one user in this website so in this way you can track your visitors in your wordpress website and install the google analytics code in your wordpress website or if you don't want to add the footer header footer code manager plugin then you can directly add this code in the theme file editor and search for the footer.php section and then you have to paste the code above the closing body tag and if you are using the cadence pro plugin then you can directly do it by just go to the customizer option and here in the pro cadence theme you will see an option called custom script and here you can paste that code in the header or footer section so there are various ways you can install the google analytics code in your wordpress website i hope you have successfully added the google analytics account in your wordpress website and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if this video is helpful to you then hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging thank you